In this video, we're going to do the Khan Academy Project Recipe Book. Now, you'll notice that this look doesn't look like Khan Academy, and that's because for this particular assignment, I've moved uh, the work and the instructions and everything over into REPL, which is another platform where you can do coding. And um, I think in this case, it's going to work out better, so you'll be able to see me doing it in, uh, in REPL. So that's what we're working on here, and I've uh, customized the instructions a little bit as far as um, what I want to have accomplished. So we're looking at making three recipes and have the three internal links um, in the table of contents. So they've, they've started the table of contents here, um, and we'll have to fill that in. Um, they want us to have at least one list for a recipe, at least one table for a recipe, and um, then describe the steps in a res for the recipe in a paragraph or list and then use some CSS things right here. So basically I'm just going to walk through and complete all the steps and just kind of show you how I do it. So the first thing to look at here is they have is just to kind of get used to seeing where the where the code is. So this right here recipe book um, is, is this H1 right here. So we only need one title um, to go right here. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to put um, level up ed tech recipe book. Okay, and run that. And I don't know why, but for some reason, it, recently REPL's been having an issue where you kind of got to click on console and then result to see the changes. Usually you should just be able to hit run, but I think they got something weird going on. So that's there. So then this next section here is the table of contents. So they have the the h2 and the ordered list that comes down to here and gets your table of contents so they've already kind of built the first one in but we're really going to want to have we want three recipes total and so we want to fill out this table of contents so i'm just going to come here actually i'm going to get all this select all that copy i'm going to hit enter paste enter paste so then i just need to change this to um the names of my recipe so i'm just i mean this is really basic you I mean whatever the simplest recipes you can you can come up with here are fine so I'm just gonna put hamburger and uh, pancakes and uh, eggs so you know whatever um, now these hrefs are gonna have to link to IDs that are later in the in the thing so we'll, we can kind of come back and do those as we go um, but then the rest of it here is it's basically just having you, you have an h2 right here for recipe number one and then you have a list and it tells you how long it takes to make and how many people it serves and then they've started to build a table and the table only has two things it has the ingredients and the quantity of how much stuff you need and you fill that out and then it has a paragraph for the steps uh, as far as what you're supposed to complete and then a source is like the link to the website that you got it from so basically what you should work on is you should just do you should just create recipe one and once you get that built then just copy all your code and then do it again for recipes two, two and three um, so I'm just going to kind of get started here with that. So first up, I have uh, I need to get this href going here. So in this case, I'm just going to say um, let's just make it easy. Let's just make it burger. And then I need to make this. Uh, let's see here. And I need to make this a, a hashtag. And then I need to put burger in here. And then I think if I run that, see it, it, it jumped a little bit. You can't hardly tell it because I don't, my page isn't long enough, but um, I think that that link is working. So that's good. So that's my ID there. And let's say it's going to take uh, 30 minutes and it's going to serve uh, four people. So now I have uh, my list going, and I need to change this name here to uh, hamburger. Okay, so now they've started me building this table, so I need to start filling it out. So I'm just going to leave, remember this is my table header right here, table row, and then table head 
um, like the actual lines. So I need to work inside of the table body here. So I'm just going to hit enter, give myself some space. I need a table row. And enter. And then inside of that, I need a, I need a table data. And I'm going to say the first ingredient is uh, ground beef. And then the next thing is the quantity. So I'm going to say another TD. And I'm going to say, uh, one, um, let's do one pound. And then I need another uh, TR. Enter. And I need to hamburger buns for this. So I'm going to do TD buns and td i need uh, four buns so now let's run and now i'm starting to get my table now at this point the you know that's a pretty small table we haven't done anything fancy as far as customizing there's all kinds of css you can do to make the table look fancier but for this hey that's good enough right there i can actually i can you know here's a mistake i can get this guy out of here i don't need that um, so, you know, I'm, I think that's, that's working out pretty good. Um, and then it, it wants me to, you know, like get, kind of give some instructions, um, in, in a paragraph form. So I can, I can come here and do that too. So I have a paragraph, um, step one, I'm going to, I don't need it to say do something. I want it to say, um, I, I'm not good at making hamburgers, but let's say, um, make, ground beef into four patties and then step two um i'm gonna i'm gonna do the strong thing like they did again uh, step two get this out of here i'm gonna say um grill patties on the grill and then I'm gonna say strong step three And I'm just going to say serve on buns. And then this, my paragraph ends right here. So I'm going to move that up there. Um, so this, then I've, I've written a paragraph. Let's run that. And there's, uh, there's my paragraph about that. Um, and then this is where you can do a, do your source. So. Um, your source is where you found that recipe at. So you need to have, this is an A link. So A is the, is the uh, link tag. So you need to put in a full website here. So let's, let's do this. Let's see if we can do all recipes. Um, I'll just, I'll just search for burger. And man, I don't want mushrooms or turkey. Bronco burger. I think I actually made this one once like years ago. So when you want to get a, when you want a link, you need this whole thing up here. All that stuff is your link. So I'm going to right click on it, copy, come back to REPL. I'm going to get rid of that question mark and I'm going to paste that link in there. Run. And then let's see if I click on that, if it takes me to it. So it didn't like that in there. Let's try it again. Let's do, I'm going to right click and say open link in new tab. And there it goes. So that worked. So now I think, I mean, as far as this first one, 
um, I've completed basically all the steps that are required uh, for the the burger. Uh, one thing I haven't done yet is to have any comments explaining my HTML. So a comment, I could just come in here and I could say something like, um, this is where my HTML table starts. And that's a comment, so it's not going to show up in the code. It's only going to show up for the people reading your. It's not, or it's it is going to show up in the code here, but it's not going to show up on the page. It's just a comment for the people that are reading it. So that's that. And then basically, um, yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna customize this. So I'm gonna say burger. Uh, Bronco Burger from all recipes and run and now they can see more details about what that link means so basically I mean I really got the first one done so um, basically now what I need to do is I would just start here with this where the h2 is where the burger starts I don't want to copy the contents I uh, the table of contents is right here I don't want to copy that I want to copy this burger all the way down to the end of the paragraph it's control C and then uh, do I want to do that yet nope you know what the thing I didn't do is I didn't use CSS element selectors or ID selectors or class selectors so let's go back and, and do that so I want to say that all of my TDs, let's make all of them red. So that would be a element selector. I'm selecting the entire element. It's not a specific to a class or an ID here. So I'm going to go to style, use my CSS selector. It's going to be TD, curly brackets, and let's say color red. and see what I get and so now those that text is red okay so that's good so now I need to do a ID selector and I already have an ID built in so the ID in this case is burger right here for the H2 so I can make this look a little bit fancier so I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna do hashtag burger curly brackets and I'm gonna say um, background color teal and now the hamburger shows up as a teal line there so that's good and then I need to use a class selector so I'm going to go into my HTML and I'm gonna add a class on something so let's add um, Let's add a class on my list here. So let's do um, class equals list one, which is probably a bad name for a, a class, but you know it's going to get the job done today. I think you, uh, we might be violating a rule by having a number in there, but I guess we'll find. Let's let's yeah, let's change it. Let's do list dash one. Just to be safe. And so that's there. So if I go back to my style, I need to use to select a class, I need to use a period. List dash one. Uh get my curly brackets going and let's make um those uh let's make the color uh, blue um, and these ones are showing up as this blue color because uh, they're links and I clicked on them maybe we should maybe we should make this like um, navy blue 
They might not know what navy blue is. Maybe it's just navy. That looks a little bit different, I think. Um, all right, so now that I've done that, this is when I would come in here and I would select all my stuff and control C and I would do control V and then run result and now I have hamburger 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 I have all that stuff three times but now all I have to do is come to get past the first hamburger so now we're on the second hamburger so now all I have to do is just pick out change my thing so this one is going to be pancakes and I'll just change this ID to cakes and then I just start changing all the data that's associated with it and we're gonna say it serves oh, this is a big pancake feast we're gonna say it serves 20 people um, and then I just I go through same thing I just replace all of these so I need to have pancake mix and I need to have five boxes so I run this it's not all the way done yet but now pancakes has shown up and of course because I changed this um, ID remember my my burger ID made it teal but I changed the ID on pancakes right here so it doesn't it doesn't match up anymore um, so I'll have to fix that I'll have to fix that in the CSS and add a new I'll have to add a new um, ID here for cakes and then uh, put in whatever colors I want it to be so that's basically it is just once you do the first one then you come in and you just edit all the details that are inside of the next one um, and that should help you complete it thanks